Hello everybody, I am back again. I said I would be doing some videos and I meant it. I have so much to catch up on. I have a little bit of time. I've got a mess of things. I'm not even gonna try and clean it up because I've got so much to do and I love doing them. I mean, the fact of the matter is I talk about all this stuff to do. I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy doing it. But this is, I'm gonna do some really interesting stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna run with, yes, we, there's a million ways to call, I mean, not a million, two ways. This is a brand called Yes out of China. And I got this set from Diecast Talk. And I was introduced to this particular model and I actually did a feature on it um, a while ago. In fact, it's been over a year that I was first introduced to this model. They were working through prototypes. They let me look at it, play with it a little bit. It's really, really cool. Um, yes, Y-E-S stands for Yo Engine Start. Kind of a unique name. And... Um, so they introduced this Mitsubishi Evo that has like multiple pieces, multiple opening pieces. We're going to work through this live. We'll see how that goes. And um, and then they have the second model, which is this flatbed, flatbed, not flatbread, tow truck, which we're gonna which we're gonna open up. So let's um, actually start with the Evo, and then we'll get to the tow truck. And then they've sent these. I don't know if I'm going to open these. I'm going to open them and show you what it is, but I don't know if I'm going to play with them because there's. New option means it's, I think, a new piece is, I think, this is number one and number two. Um, I think these are for the Evo. Um, there is a link in the in the video description and um, to Diecast Talk. That's where these came from, and they're the ones, I don't know if they're the exclusive seller, but I, like I said, I've shown this one. I showed the prototype whenever I did it, how long ago. I can't remember how long ago it was, but this is the actual model. Um, I don't know if it's available. I'm looking over there. Uh, it might be. Um, and you can see there's even pieces here and everything. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up. I have no idea how long this is going to take and how well it's going to work. But um, well, that's cool packaging. Hello. What does that say? Thank you? Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. Are you ready? The packaging's awesome. You can see, like, here's all this stuff. Um, Pico model is a part of this, this is, you know, and it's licensed too. That's important to me. I want to, I want to show, I want to make sure they're licensed, uh, when I show them. I've, I, like I said, I might get fooled before. This packaging is awesome. Really cool. Um, so let's put this off to the side. So it comes in this really cool, like hard plastic container here. And hello, Evan. And um, we'll go ahead and take that off. And what I and what I don't have, we're gonna and then this plastic piece too. We're gonna move that too. What I don't have, I think this is actually a turntable, and it's kind of a soft, rubbery um, type of turntable. The only problem is I don't think. Let's check. Yeah, needs a battery. So I don't have that in front of me. So I'm not gonna be able to put it on the turntable. But you can see. You can get the car out, and this is an absolutely really clean, really nice uh, presentation. And, um, you know, to turn it off and on and everything. And, you know, we'll just put that right here. And like I said, it would turn if I had the battery, but I don't. So the model itself, and we'll go ahead and try and... Again, I'll do this off camera. So there's this piece, and here is the model, and I'll show it up close, and then there's extra pieces, an extra grill. So I'm going to just kind of pull this up, make sure I don't lose it here, but you can kind of see the model itself. It's highly detailed, it is die cast. Um, if I could just here, I'll show you. Probably easier to do it that way. And I actually, you can see I... Um, it's got this front grill. It has opening parts, like an opening hood. And I had this open. You can see there's a place for the car, place for the grill, and this is the actual engine. I'm going to show you this. So, here, I'm going to do this. Um, you can actually remove the front, remove the hood, Make sure I do this right. And 
and um, you can actually take out the engine. So I think there's a way, I think if you get the piece right, yeah, there, look at the details on this. Try and get it in focus. So you can interchange the engine. The hood, I, the hood maybe has a different scoop, and then the uh, the front. I think there were they were fooling around with doing the spoiler, but I don't think the spoiler is interchangeable. Maybe it is, but um, and we'll we'll do this. But I want to see while this is while we have this. I'm going to move this off to the side real quick. I want to see what these are. So this is new option number one. It doesn't really show. It says tuning parts. I think this is for this model. If it makes sense to open, we will. But I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, look at that. So. I've got three new grills. And then I don't know what this blue part is. There's something. Did you guys figure out what that blue part is for? Clearly, I think you'd have to take those pieces out. Do they make a some sort of trim or I can't tell, but let's let's put that off the side. That's that's one. Yeah, I'm thinking like Evan's asking if it's a roll cage. I don't know, maybe it is. Um Yeah, it's this for the 164 Evo 9. Oh, underside maybe. Oh, you might be right. So you can see, you know what? And I think if I'm remembering correctly, this might be, yep, this is removable too. Thanks for the reminder. So the exhaust is removable. And, um, and so it's, uh, and I don't know if the wheels are too, but you can actually replace it. But I don't think... I don't know. Maybe that is for the underside. I'm not going to fool around with it right now. Maybe the girls we will, but let's look at number two. Let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. Okay, more. Are these more? Are these different girls? Yep. Holy cow. <laughs> I think that middle piece is the same. Right? Oh, and then this one, this one didn't have a roll cage, but this one does. So this one must, this must be a roll cage you can put in there. I'm not going to worry about that either. Wow. See, this is pretty incredible. Um, especially for people like me, like I don't customize. And um, maybe suspension capsule, maybe. Um I, and I just, I'm just going to worry about the girls now. So I'm going to take this from this too. I like this top one. So let's open that up. Do it off camera. You want to see the engine up close? Yeah, I showed it up close just a second ago. I'll show it again. Because um, I'm going to put it in. So let's, so I'll give that to you. So I make sure it's in focus. Let's uh, see if we can't get it inserted in here. So I think you just got to kind of it's a little tricky, you know, and these pieces are not like find okay maybe I just kind of press there we go there pressed it you kind of in, I was trying to put it in from the front you kind of press it in from the top and then we can put the hood on because I don't have an extra hood piece so that is in and then we'll uh, let's leave that open and then let's put this try and put this exhaust back
So everything rolls. I mean, this thing's in incredible. Um, obviously, these pieces are fragile. You want to be real careful with them. But, you know, I think the point, once it's all together, it's, you know, it's pretty well intact. But, all right, so let's, let's get this. Let's see how this works. So you can see here. Get it pressed. Make sure I've got that on right. I think I need to press the hood in just a little bit. Try this again. Hold on. I'm going to do it up close here so I can actually get it right here. I've got to get that hood closed just a little bit. It probably needs to be pushed in just a little bit more, but you can see how it all fits in. Is that not incredible? Well, we can take that off again and try a different one. Let's put that one back. So I think some of these obviously are stock and others are aftermarket. Do it that way. So that one's a little bit more wide open. It's pretty incredible um, that they're able to do this. And I think they've only done this one model. Um, but I think, you know, they probably have every intention of doing more. So you can see it just is pretty sweet and let's uh open up the um i want to make sure that's all good there let's open up this truck maybe we can put all that together what do you guys think Jose, damn, this is already sold out. I checked their website. Yeah, I think this model was sold out. And I um, I think they want to do more. Um, is the flatbed sold? Flat, flat, why do I keep saying flatbed? Is the flatbed sold out, this thing? So this one obviously has some pieces too. Looks like some cones and things. We won't open that. Um, but this thing, yeah, look at this. So this is, you know, this is along the lines of Atomic Limited Vintage. I wouldn't put it at the same quality level, but it is really nice. And again, fragile, fragile pieces. You see these mirrors and stuff? Obviously, and then like this piece. I don't know if that pulls out. It doesn't. Um, but it is functional. So it can drive the Evo away. Red Evo on pre-order for 60 bucks. I'm telling you, 60 bucks for this thing is worth it. It is worth it. So I would order it because they do sell out. You just, there you go. I'll show you the underside of the truck too. Pretty cool, right? 
So my guess on this is that this was supposed to be like an Isuzu and maybe they didn't get the licensing and went with a generic. Um, I don't get the sense that it's branded or that it's licensed. Um, but it's not badged so with a brand, so I think that's okay. But, you know, the intricacies, the ins and outs of that, I don't know. But this thing seems to be really cool. And I know the Mitsubishi is licensed. So I think you're, yeah, so there's... There's the red one. I, you know, obviously this is the packaging. It shows the red one on the cover. I, uh, on the packaging, but um, they started with silver. Get that up close there for you. I think it's pretty, pretty cool. And I don't know if there, you guys that are on the website now, are these sold separately? These like option pieces, new option, number one and number two. Um. Obviously, you want the model before you're buying those option pieces, right? So, Shervin, this is a marvelous idea and diecast hobby. I agree with you. I, you know, there's going to be some that just want the Hot Wheels and Matchbox style, which I totally get, you know. And there's others that um, love, like, the display cars, like Tarmac, Ignition. Totally get that, too. There's the cars in the middle, like Mini GT and... A lot of others like Greenlight Auto World, Tomic Limited Vintage. Um, this kind of takes a little bit of everything, you know. It's not. It is definitely a display model. It's not something that you're going to beat up because these pieces, you know, are fragile, but um, they they can definitely break. But this thing holds its own, you know. It's like I'll put this right here. It it rolls and rolls pretty well. It's not as smooth as a Hot Wheels, but it doesn't need to be. And the fact that you've got this really really crisp looking 164 model um that you can actually interchange the engine the grill um the exhaust all these pieces is pretty extraordinary and so it, this is a very unique piece for diecast collectors and i know that's why i'm not surprised it sold out because when we showed it i was i could tell there was a lot of interest in this and um it's cool. It's a really, really cool piece, and I think you can get that, that display truck with it, and then you have kind of a nice deal here. So, um, Jose, because you got an Auto World. Good. That's another one I need to be doing. I, I showed their Suburban today. They they um, previewed it on Facebook, so I put it on Instagram, uh, which is a good. Um, it's nice, but you will not change the parts. Every I won't, but maybe you will. Um, that's, you know... You may not change it every week, but do you need to? You change it when you want to. If that's once a day, once an hour, once a year, once a decade, once a millennium, fine. You know? I think it's cool. Really, really cool stuff. All right, guys. That's a second video all today. And um, there's still, I think you still might see more today. Because um, I've got so much uh, to work through and it's kind of fun. But this is one I've been really excited to kind of put together because, um, you know, it gives me a chance to just sit down with you guys and uh, and go over it. So let me ask you this. I asked you with the uh, with the cars in the last video, even though it's sold out, who's going to who's going to um, reserve one of these, one of the red ones when it comes out? I want to see your comments Who or who's going to buy it once it does come out. And I I don't I think Diecast Talk will be one of the only stores, if not the only store that will have it. Um, diocese the Bentley in the back yeah there's a lot of cars in the back Andrew I might have need the red one I would pre-order guys I would pre-order whale season maybe Evan for sure Jose is already pre-ordering one too pricey for whale season that's all cool Hot Wheels and Fried Chicken says I might. Die, hopefully me. Go on their website, Diecast Talk. I think it's at Shop Diecast Talk. I think. It's in the, it's in the, um, is the bed of the truck metal? I think so. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, it definitely is. These pieces down below here are plastic. Still fragile. You know, this one rotates, which is cool. The bed is definitely metal. The cab is metal, too. Still... If I wanted to break it, I could break it. So I got to be careful with that. 
When is the Bentley coming out? I think it's out already in Asia. It'll be part of Miho exclusives um, very, very soon, if not like in the next few days. So I'm gonna, I've got that Mini GT showcase coming up. What else, guys? What else? So sixty dollars for this set. You get the car. You get the different engine. You get the different. You get a second grill. You get this really nice display, which I should have got a battery for. So I could show you how that works because it's that, like I said, it's that kind of soft rubber. So the car sticks. Um, put the Hot Wheels Koenigsegg on the back. I can't. It's it's behind plastic. You're talking about that one right there. Yeah, it's behind plastic. Can't open it right now. I can put something else on the back of it. Let's see. What can I put on the back of it? You want to see the size comparison? Here, how about this? There. You can see it's pretty wide, but the Bugatti's wide itself, so. Would I please show the red means? I don't have it. This was the silver one came out of the pack. So it was the silver one. Just shows the red one on the package. What else, guys? I'll go, I'll stay on for a couple more minutes. If you look over here, you'll see a stack of cars that I gotta get to. All of this stuff. All stuff I'm gonna open right here too. Over here, tons and tons over here too. Woo! Is it true to scale? I would say, I mean, I don't know if it's exact to scale, but it's pretty close. It's in 164. When can we vote for the Lamley Awards? Starting either tomorrow night or Monday, whenever I do the first video, you'll see them. And you guys, thanks for being patient. I'm so excited. Get to cracking. I will. I just want to do it on video. Would you try the Mini GT Supra on the back? Could you try? No, I can't get to it right now. The Mini GT Supra. But it would probably fit pretty well uh, if I could get to it. Here. How about... Uh... Oh, you're looking at this right there. That's the Corvette, and it's still in plastic. Here, let's see what I can put on the back here. I could put a green light Datsun 510. I could... Hmm. I could put on, how about a an Auto World Dodge Stealth? How's that look? Um, how about an Auto World Cadillac? <laughs> or I could put, all right, how about this? How about a Tomica Limited Vintage flatbed? And then an Auto World Dodge Stealth. Or, I could put on another Tomica Limited Vintage flatbed. Whoa! There we went. Didn't survive. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> So here I could put, uh, let's see if it will survive this thing. Because this is weight. Yep. Nice. So you know, so Auto World is exact 164. So you get a sense there. When you put that on there, 
you get a sense that so here I could take off the big truck and just put on like I said the stealth again these are exact to 164 and you can see that fits pretty good kind of falls right nicely in that range might be a little smaller but not too much don't want to be driving that truck no <laughs> Funny, funny, funny. Here we could put an M2 raw chase. There. Keep mixing it up a little bit. What else do I ever I could put on there? Oh, how about a Majorette Porsche? Or how about a Hot Wheels Lamborghini? That's not going to work. about a matchbox double decker bus there let me move it up a bit there we go that's probably off scale wise huh <laughs> all right enough of that enough of that am i still doing a video opening on the mini mini gt oh yeah so mini gt hot wheels matchbox lamley awards super treasure hunts pop culture RLC, Matchbox 5 packs, Tomica Limited Vintage, no uh, October and November. Um, it doesn't stop, guys. I got so much. So much. There's going to be so much fun content, so I'm excited. Um, yeah, Mini GT. I, I try and like accumulate some of the Mini GT. They send me new stuff all the time, and I try and accumulate it, and then... Um, like this is kind of cool. So like this is the new holiday model. That's a preview here. There's a preview for you guys. They're doing a special holiday model. And this one I guess is signed by the designer from Bentley. So this particular one. Um, yeah, Bentley designer Phil Dean. Christmas edition designed by Bentley designer Phil Dean exclusively for Mini GT. Pretty cool, huh? So that's coming. Um, where can you buy it? Uh, it's going to be coming out pretty soon. So, and I'm going to showcase all of that in the mini GT preview, which is coming up. I don't know when it'll be probably might even be tonight on the other channel. I'm going to put the mini GT on the Lamley channel. So, but I have more Lamley. I might do a hot wheels opening video here on Lamley live too, possibly today. So I'm going to head out guys. We're at almost 30 minutes. Um, and, uh, let's see. I know you're busy, but could you update us on some of the matchbox models, such as the Mustang or Corvette? What about them? I mean, I did the new case, right? The new mix one. Um, Honestly, the GCD is a cheaper and just, I don't even know what GCD is unless you're, unless I'm blanking. Um, so I don't, and I don't know exactly what you're asking about the matchbox. Be specific and I'll try and answer it for you. Mustang, there's the Corvette that's coming out, right? The C8 that's already out in stores now. And I don't know what else you're, uh, you're referring to. Let's see. Oh, Gaincore Products, another Chinese manufacturer. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out of China. Some of it's licensed. I'm cool with that. If it's not licensed, I don't. I prefer not to show it, um, and uh, try and avoid them. Sometimes I've, sometimes I make a mistake, but um, and I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming that G, whatever that brand is you mentioned, was, does licensed stuff. If so maybe I'll get my hands on it at some point. So yeah, because there's a lot of good stuff out there. And I don't think you have to like, 
say, well, I like this or this is better. So I'm going to take that. We all have different preferences. So that's what's so cool with all these different manufacturers is they are their official edge. Great. So if I tried to collect everything or tried everything, I'd be overwhelmed and I already am overwhelmed and I don't even collect a fraction of what's out there or even try to get my hands on it. So such as the Mustang CS, all the models that have been made. Oh, like do like an update video on these. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I I want to get to more of those. I haven't done a video like that where I kind of jump back and just kind of focus on some older models. And I really, really, really want to do that, to be honest, because they're fun to do and we get so caught up, including me, um, so caught up on what's new, what's new, what's new, what's new, what's new. And it's always like, why not enjoy all the stuff that's already out? And yeah, I've got, you know... Right over there, all this stuff that we could go through, which would be really fun, and I just don't have the, uh, I will have the time eventually, and I'll pick some really fun cars to do, but um, here towards the end of the year with Lamley Awards and everything, we'll, we'll focus on that, but I try, this is why I keep all this stuff, um, in fact, you can see, like, here, I'll show you a little bit. Oops. See, I'm already prepping for the Lamley Awards. I've got all the got all the new models ready to um, ready to showcase. I've got the uh, super treasure hunts down here. Um, there's all the Matchbox new models. So you can see I'm all prepped and ready to go. I got a few more things to do, but. Um, I'll be going through, I gotta photograph all of these and then I'll be doing the videos. And uh, yeah, so Matchbox new models, Hot Wheels new models, licensed new models, Hot Wheels super treasure hunts. Um, I still gotta pull out all of the premium new models, which are a ton. Um, so kind of fun. What happened to the TLV Ferraris? They left just as fast as they came. It's a great question, Abby. I hope there's more. I hope there's more. Obviously, that's a complicated licensing deal that they've got, and maybe you know, maybe there's a pause in that. Um, if that's it, that's a bummer. But we've got some good ones that came out, right? So, um, I like you, Abby. I hope we see more. Um, at some point, if we have a pause, we have a pause. But we'll see. It's a good question. So, yeah, you guys can see all the, get a sense of what's there. Thank you, Louie. So, yeah, it doesn't stop, does it? It's fun, though. It's fun. Jared just woke up. Well, you didn't need to wake up on my behalf. These videos will still be here. Any word on that package, Jared? Because I need to start, if you I've, if you haven't gotten it, I need to start checking on it. Sent out a couple a while ago. What did I miss? You'll have to go back. You missed a lot. But you mainly missed this stuff. And now we're just sitting here and just chatting. Just wasting our Saturdays. At least my Saturday. You guys, some of you are on Sundays. No updates yet. Okay, Jared, let me look into it. It's getting late in Saudi Arabia. We'll see you, Daya. Hope I said your name right. I am going to get out of here too, guys. Like I said, more stuff to come. I might do a Hot Wheels A-Case opening video because I've kind of let that one ride. And then Mini GT Lamley Awards. So you can see I've got a lot of work to do. We'll get to it. Thanks, everybody.